Oh, now they're running. Look, they're running. Can you guys see? <sighs> okay. Oh my God, guys. This is Arusha National Park. We're following a family of giraffes. It's something that looks like a crater, but all the animals that were there before have disappeared. Okay, you're most welcome in Arusha National Park. As with your park here, Park Ranger, Ayla Show Rally. So I uh, hopefully to see you guys with my hiking and everything. <laughs> burn up some calories. <laughs> Wow, guys, look at this. We have like a, the lake full of pink flamingos. We didn't see that in any other. The highlight of my Arusha National Park visit was of course the walking safari. Walking because there are no big cats in the park. I kept wondering, how would a ranger protect us if a group of lions showed up? So there are no big cats, so you have nothing to worry about. You will, however, see animals like giraffes, zebras, warthogs, buffaloes, different bird species, and other animals that I cannot name. We are super duper on time, that's in Ngurungari Gate. So, you've made your way to Arusha and you're asking yourself, what are the day trips I can do from Arusha? Well, look no further. In this episode, I want to talk to you about Arusha National Park. Depending on where you are in the city, it's roughly about 30 to 50 kilometers away from the city. And one of the beautiful things about Arusha National Park is that it is home to Mount Meru, which is the second highest peak in Tanzania. And you can actually climb Mount Meru. There's a three to four day hike to get to the peak. Some people use it as a practice for Kilimanjaro, but it is a beautiful hike on its own. So you can also do that from Arusha. But today we're going to concentrate on one thing. On this episode of Across All Borders Going East, I say to you, walking safari anyone, day trip to Arusha National Park. For this safari, I decided to self-organize, so I went with two other guests in my Airbnb. We got a driver, we got a ranger, and we paid our park fees. So we ended up being um, at about 110 USD per person for the day trip to Arusha National Park. We did not use a safari car, we used a um, NOAA, which is like a van. It has its advantages and disadvantages, but let's talk about the park in itself. Like I said, about 30 to 50 kilometers away from the city, meaning you can go and come back in the same day. It has three distinct areas, which the Mount Meru forms a backdrop of one of these areas. And whilst you're doing the walking safari, you will pass um, some of these areas. So one of the major areas is the Ngodutu crater. The animals like to stay in the crater a lot. <laughs> So guys, this is the first viewpoint. Uh, we're pretty early and we're trying to get our walking guide, but we decided to stop here to see if we can see any animals. But what's beautiful is that you see the sun rising, so you see the lights playing on the trees and the clouds slowly moving away. So this in itself is also already very um, rewarding. And then you hear the birds and this is actually absolutely lovely to be able to like just sit here and see how the morning uh, breaks and how the clouds are moving quite close to the field. So this is like, um, and then see now a bit more sun on the trees. So we're literally getting um, the day as it breaks here. And then you've got, of course, the forest, which is on the slopes of Mount Meru. In the forest, you are most likely to see black and white colobus monkeys if you get lucky. They're quite fast and shy, so you gotta be on a quick lookout. We saw a couple, but it was hard to like, capture them on camera and um, when you do the walking safari you do go up to almost the first base and you come to the arch and it's really a beautiful thing to do and afterwards we did a drive through the park so join me as we look at the walking safari in Arusha National Park.
We entered Arusha National Park using the Ngurungara Gate, but you start your hike or bike a safari from the Momela Gate, as well as if you're going to the pick, that's where you start from. So we had to go to the Momela Gate. So that was cool because we already had sort of a game drive before um, the hike. Once we passed the gate, it was, it was really nice to encounter a family of giraffes or a group of giraffes. And one was standing on the road and the others by the roadside. And it was uh, nice to observe them. We passed monkeys, baboons, uh, different uh, other species of animals. And so if you want to do this, so it's kind of good to start early because you make the most of your time whilst you're in the park. So I'll be showing you a bit of what we saw before we got to Momela Gate and started then the six hour hike through the forest and up to the Big Tree Arch, which is one of the major attractions on the hike. But let's get on with the start of the hike. So guys, there's Meru, the little Meru in the back. We've got some buffaloes feeding. Um, one staring dead at me like what are you doing and some others some others that's the landscape going up to the mountain there is the northern circuit and the southern circuit the northern circuit through this road is going to take four hours but it's very steep mm -hmm. with the longest road which we're going to come back with mm -hmm. going up to the fig tree is going to take six hours. It's not that steep. Mm -hmm. The elevation is just gentle. So it's going to take almost very like six hours because it's like turning all around. Ah. Yeah, they're experiencing different vegetation and different animals. The beautiful thing about this hike is that we got to learn about our surroundings, about the animals, the fossils, plants with their medicinal value, the river, and it was the perfect combination of educative and physical, just the way I like it. So this, we'll see the, they are found on, if you're going to do your game drive, on yeah. Mela Lakes. Because okay. in the daytime, they don't get out. Yeah, so, so in the evening, huh? Yeah. yeah. They don't have sunscreen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's, she's actually chasing the lizard. <laughs> <laughs> they only live near water bodies. I love the landscape. So do the animals drink this water? Uh, not that much. Okay. Because the water uh -huh. has high amount of fluoride on it. Ah. So animals don't like those. So there is always an exit side from the other side. Ah. So while he searches for this side, it will exit on the other side. Oh wow. <laughs> super, we can eat this it? one, huh? But when they become black. Let uh, me see where is the fruit. The cherry. Ah. So we just started our walking safari in Arusha National Park. And here is a group of buffalo. But where you see the buffaloes, you also see two other different types of animals. You see uh, the warthog and you see the egret. Um, that relationship is purely based on them benefiting from each other. The buffaloes eat the tall grass and the warthog eats the shorter one after the buffaloes have fed. And the egrets kind of like eat the insects around the buffaloes. So it is very common to see a picture where you have three distinct different types of animals together so you know why they are together if you see them together okay it's on mm -hmm. just a hyena plant ah which one is it we have to grind it a little bit harder yeah, really? yeah. Uh, i want the meat yeah it's plant to be grown but in africa many of people use this as the medicine when they there is a toothache you can put the address of this fruit to the place where the tooth is yoked and then can kill the bacteria. But the, this, these leaves you can see it's soft. They used to wash the tissues after being used. Okay. One of the major attractions in the park is the waterfall. We spent a few minutes there taking in the scenery, making a break and then continued on the trail to look at other viewpoints and make our way up to the big fig tree and the archway. It's tiny, but you can make out it's a giraffe. Mm -hmm. And we go over to Hatari Lodge. 
Is it the same one? No. Uh, I just was afraid because something touched me and uh, at the same moment I saw a spider. <laughs> so you're like, oh my god, that's the creep. This is Little Meru from the four hours hike up to the fig tree. Um, it's pretty much covered right now. Um, the idea is if you are hiking up to the uh, Meru summit, you would go past Little Meru so you can see um, Mount Meru. So when we get to the fig tree, we might have a better view of Mount Meru. Um, this there in the middle is the ash cone. It's where Mount Meru erupted a couple of years back. Actually, it's said to have been higher than Kilimanjaro, but after the eruption, it became the size of half. And we have two peaks here, the little Meru over there and the big Meru. And right, oh, did you hear that bird? Amazing. Right in the middle, we have um, the ash cone. So we're going to go to the big fig tree and I'm taking it, we're almost there. <laughs> we'll see what happens when we get there, but it's absolutely amazing and it gives you a great view of the landscape in the Arusha National Park. And the Litcom special campsite is if you want absolute privacy and that is the way up to the first base camp um, but we're going to do a UE and go down that way, that's where we're going. <gasps> ah, that you can pass through it, now I understand with the hole, you see it? I didn't even see it before. This is absolutely amazing. If you do do the four hour hike, make sure you come here because I think it's the highlight of it. And all of this is natural. Yep. Is it natural? This is natural. The growth and the arch you found here is natural. So if we come in close with the camera, awesome. Uh, you're going to see the different roots. So we're going to come in close and show you what it looks like. Look at this walk of nature. Like, absolutely fabulous. Oh my god. Wow! Wow, how old is it? Very, very old. Many, many years ago. This is crazy. Oh my god, guys, look at that. Like, this is definitely one of the highlights of Arusha National Park. So, a must see if you do do the walking tour. You gotta come look at this baby. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Wow, guys, look at that. This is usually what I was doing <laughs> when I maybe weighed five kilos. <laughs> but now the force of gravity. <laughs> wow. When I get older, yes, maybe. <laughs> wow, this is wicked. I'm gonna come over. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. This is better. Look at this side. No, don't let him fall, I beg. We don't want ambulance. <laughs> wow. Like, if you feel up to it, you can yeah, climb the fig that. tree. Yeah. Uh, but if not, you just be like us and hold the camera. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. What <laughs> happened is that the, an assumption either a poops from the monkey or a bird since they can digest the seeds from the ficus. So what they do when they drop on places where they warm and everything, it starts grows as arrow roots. Whereby the arrow roots, the moment they touch the ground, they keep on strangling like a snake going all around the tree, and it keeps on expanding. The arrow roots turns into complete root after touching the ground, and eventually they came and joined because of the sunlight. As you know, plants usually follow for the season the direct shoot of the sunlight. So it's where they came and joined and made the whole tree. But inside there, there is a tree that dies in the tree. Yes, that is dying out of lack of, uh, of special air, water, and sunlight. Most of the time, it's about sunlight. 
After the fig tree visit, we started to make our way back to the Momela Gate so we could do our evening game drive around Momela Lake and a bit of the rest of the park before heading back to our rusher. So guys, that's Lake Momela. If we're lucky, we're gonna see some hippos, some animals drinking. That's the last spot for our Arusha um, day trip. So let's go get him. This is the small Momela Lake. On the other side of it, we have the possibilities of seeing hippos and we're gonna to try to catch some uh, before we leave the park. And um, that greenhouse there over there is a picnic spot as well, just like the one we are on here. So here I'm going to show you. And you can see the small birds. So there's certain birds, there's very tiny birds on the lake. Here I'm going to show you what you see um, on the small Momela Lake. So you have uh, freshwater hippos, ducks, and different bird lives depending on what time of the year. So you've got um, the little grebe, you've got the southern pochard, uh, the common sandpiper, sacred ibis, and the uh, hadada ibis. So um, you can see all of these birds depending on what time of the year you come here. And right across the lake where we see the safari vehicle is where we have maybe a chance of spotting some freshwater hippos and we're going to try to get that for you as well so let's go Thank you. Welcome again. Arusha National Park. Bon voyage. And we say bye-bye Arusha National Park. Thank you so much for the day. I do hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Across All Borders Going East. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Liesl81.